God, Diddy is f Yo, listen, Diddy, your time has come. <laughs> your time has come. He's been doing it for decades and it's finally catching up to him. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if they find out something about having something to do with Biggie and Tupac's murder. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I know he's like sweating bullets. They got him on suicide watch now. Listen, if y'all don't know what is going on, P. Diddy has been arrested for sex trafficking and racketeering. If y'all don't know what those two charges are, just know if you're guilty, you're probably gonna die in jail. Those are years on years on years on years. So this is something very interesting that the whole world is gonna be watching. I myself, I'm just like, damn, finally. Cause we already knew about what was, what you know, we knew, everybody knew what was going on with Diddy way before this popped up. It's like, damn, it took that long? Like, everybody knew, you know what I'm saying? Everybody keeps quiet, everybody just, you know what I'm saying? And it's just a damn shame. Ever since Cassie came out with that shit, and it's for, of course the, the incident happened out, you know, in the, in the hotel. Now all everything's coming out. <laughs> and Diddy, I know he's literally like about to like try to kill himself. That's why he, they got on suicide watch. It's crazy, man. But we're gonna watch a little video of uh, the latest. So yeah, man, y'all buckle up. This shit is probably gonna get crazy. Let's go. To the latest on the arrest of Sean Diddy Combs. This one has so many people talking. The disgraced music mogul facing federal racketeering, conspiracy, <laughs> and sex trafficking charges. Both the prosecution and defense teams are set to discuss the next phase of action following the indictment as investigators work to determine potential co-conspirators. But how exactly did we get here? ABC's Morgan Norwood breaks it down. Who's the boss? Dudes is lost. Don't think cause I'm iced out. I'ma cool off. The sex trafficking case against Sean Diddy Combs moving full speed ahead. Lawyers for Combs and prosecutors set to hold a status conference to determine the next phase following the sweeping indictment alleging the music mogul leveraged his business empire, power, and prestige to abuse his alleged victims. He used his business and employees of that business and other close associates to get his way. Those individuals allegedly included high-ranking supervisors in the business, personal assistants, security staff, and household staff. As the disgraced rapper faces racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking, and transportation to engage in prostitution charges, investigators now working to determine who his alleged co-conspirators were and whether they too should be charged. 54-year-old Combs pleading not guilty to charges that he led a racketeering conspiracy that abused women. I'm gonna fight like hell to get him released and he should be released. The indictment alleged some of Combs' employees helped set off so-called freak-offs in which women were forced into sex acts with male prostitutes. He used the embarrassing and sensitive recordings he made of the freak-offs as collateral against the victims. Pros Doesn't that sound like the music industry? I know for a fact y'all heard of that before. You want to be in the game, you want to be in a rap game, you want to be a singer, you want to be anything. In the, in the entertainment world, the, the movies, movie, like big time movie uh, actor, all that stuff. <clears throat> We've all heard that. We've all heard that stuff, that you got to do something in order to get where you want to go. Perfect example. Prosecutor said authorities seized records along with firearms, drugs, and more than 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubricant during raids last March. On <laughs> what the Yo, listen, 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 listen. A hundred bottles of baby oil is crazy. My nigga, you have a thousand. My, oh my God. <laughs> like, why so much? Like, <laughs> it just don't make, like I said, a hundred is a lot. A hundred is too much. A 100, this nigga has over a thousand. Them freak offs better be insane. If those videos come out, oh my God, bro. Oh my God, it's just ridiculous. Diddy's homes in Miami and Los Angeles. Something's controlling me. Combs has been under criminal investigation since his former partner and recording artist, Cassie Ventura, accused him in a November civil lawsuit of rape. 30 million. Abuse. 
and mm. even sex trafficking. At the center of the case, this 2016 video exclusively obtained by CNN, showing a 2016 altercation caught on surveillance video of Combs grabbing and kicking Ventura. The lawsuit was settled with no admission of wrongdoing, Combs issuing an apology video back in May. I hit rock bottom, but I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. Since then, the rapper, the subject of multiple civil lawsuits, allegations which he has denied. Swimming in women with their own condominiums, five plus fives who drive millenniums. It's Holmes has reportedly amassed a $1 billion fortune after he shot to fame in the 1990s with hits like It's All About the Benjamins, launching the label Bad Boy Records, and the successful careers of Mary J. Blige, Usher, and Notorious B.I.G. Later expanding his brand into fashion, fragrances, and alcohol. That business empire now in jeopardy. Sean Combs also faces a forfeiture in this criminal case, where the government says that anything involving this criminal enterprise could be forfeited to the U.S. government. Our thanks to Morgan Norwood for breaking down how we got here. Listen, he's, yeah, he's done, man. Like, so pretty much all the money he's making from this point on is... The governments. Damn, man. It is just sad because it's like, bro, like, I mean, it, it, when people get rich, it only brings out how they really are. And obviously, we can see that Diddy was just a freak, okay? <laughs> Freaky ass nigga. And, and oh my God. It, and Kendrick couldn't have picked a better time to come up with that freaky ass nigga. He is 69 God. Like, this is that nigga. <laughs> the real 69 God. Yo, he, like, this nigga's a freak. You know what I'm saying? Like, what they mean, the only thing that I would say the only plus about this situation is we haven't heard anything about, anything about minors yet. So, you know, hopefully not, because if, if there's minors involved in this, then yeah, he's, he's completely, he's not, He's, he's done done. Like, damn. Let's keep going. And it has been a staggering fall from grace for music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. But what can we expect moving forward? I want to bring in legal affairs journalist Megan Cuniff for more on this. Megan, I appreciate you being here because there is no one else, truly, who I'd rather talk to about this. The Washington Post calls you arguably the most influential legal journalist working today. You've got your finger on the pulse, your nose all up in it, Megan. Diddy is currently being held without bond after his appeal was denied by a judge Wednesday. How significant is this to keep someone this high profile behind bars? You know, I think in federal court and for these charges, they would say it's routine, but in the public realm, this is very significant just from who we associate Diddy Bean and everything we've seen him do over the decades. Like you said, this is quite the downfall to go from, I mean, we saw the mansions back, back in March that were raided by the feds. So to go from living in those mansions to being in a jail cell right now, I think it really underscores the magnitude of what he's facing and the weight of the federal government. You're absolutely right. I mean, he had his mansions in, in Florida and California raided at the same time. And so much of this has played out publicly, starting back with that civil lawsuit from Cassie and then more lawsuits and denial of the claims. Yeah, but then Cassie settling very been. quickly with Cassie, <sighs> denial of other claims. And it's been this slow drip until this point. You have covered celebrity cases before, most famously Tory Lane's assault trial in 2022. That went viral on X, formerly known as Twitter. What do you think about the responses that people are having to Diddy's case and his reputation at this point? I think it's to be expected, just the, the shock of this and the, the questions about what is is ahead of us. I mean, how long is he going to be in custody? Is this an R. Kelly situation? Is he going to not get out for a, a number of years? Is he going to end up serving a, a long-term prison sentence from this? Or does he have a chance of, of beating these charges at, at a trial that could come you know, within the next two years. I think there's a lot of questions about the timeline. And then, like it was said in the report before, the question of co-conspirators. Is he going to end up with co-defendants on this? And if he does, who are they going to be? Well, and that point exactly, Megan, is what has so much of, um, 
you know, of people talking and, and speculating who else could be involved when you know the influence that Sean Diddy Combs has had in the music industry for decades. I mean, it. Those names probably won't be named because we all see those pictures from those parties and some of the people that are there, all billionaires. Look at Jay-Z, you know, um, actors, big time movie actors. Uh, Jay-Z is like the number one that I can think of right now, but people like Jay-Z are there. So just picture who else would be there. You know what I'm saying? Just think about it. They probably won't be named, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's some, some heavy hitters out there. So it's gonna be a Diddy is, oh my God. They lucky, he's, Diddy's lucky the cops got to him before anybody else did, I think. Because, you know, this is looking like another Jeffrey Epstein type of thing. You know what I'm saying? You know, I think Epstein literally had to kill himself because of we all know what happened on the island. Yeah, Diddy, thousand bottles of baby oil. We all know what's what's that being used for. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, let's continue. Is it even possible to to say how big this could get? It, it, it's a question of that. But when you read through the indictment, it's pretty clear who could be indicted as a co-conspirator. Right now, there are people in the indictment who would be considered unnamed co-conspirators, but clearly have played a role in this conspiracy. And I think prosecutors have some big leverage on them because they're hoping that they testify against uh, Diddy as prosecution witnesses. But if they're co-defendants, there's a little bit more leverage there to work out some kind of uh, cooperation deal to ensure their testimony. Or perhaps there's bigger fish in the pond that they want to go after, but there's just a lot of questions that remain to be seen about whether there's a superseding indictment and whether it includes co-defendants. But there's also strategic reasons for the prosecutors to want him to have co-defendants, because right now he hasn't waived his right to a speedy trial, uh, which would force prosecutors to take up the trial pretty quick, which they actually might not be ready to do. But if they supersede him and have co-defendants with him, it makes it a lot easier to pursue a trial trial continuance without him waiving his speedy trial right. This is all very interesting and it means that we could see potentially more people charged. We just don't know yet where this will go. Exactly, Me exactly. Megan, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. We really appreciate you. Legal affairs journalist Megan Cunin. All right, so uh, like I said, um, another case of similar to Jeffrey Epstein. Um, like I said, ho hopefully there is no minors involved. Um, they're grown adult people then. Honestly, it's like, wh what they mean by sex trafficking is like he's flying other people out to where he is and then have sex with them. That's what that is. That's apparently illegal. That's the main thing that, you know, that I know everybody's thinking about, the sex trafficking thing. No, he's not having people abducted or against their own will. These people are getting flown out and doing what they want to do, but that's considered illegal. So. <laughs> It's something that they can't, nobody can do, which is crazy. I'm pretty sure thinking about it like that, it's like, that's illegal? Like, you know what I'm saying? But that, it's it's illegal. So um, the racketeering and all that stuff, you know, that's something that, you know, we probably can learn about before. But I know everybody's main thing is the sex trafficking thing. So I tell you, man, ever since Cassie came out with that shit, ever since that video, it has been downhill. I, I, I can only imagine what Diddy's thinking right now, what's gonna happen to him. I mean, he's rich, so. You know, just be honest. I mean, OJ Simpson got off. I'm gonna be honest with you. He clearly did that murder. And you know, he had money. Did he? Billionaire. But I mean, they might have seized his assets and stuff, so who knows, you know what I'm saying? So listen, this is getting wilder and wilder and it's only just the beginning. Who knows what other names are gonna be named and that's gonna be the shocking part. So <laughs> y'all stick around. I'm definitely gonna react to it. Y'all uh, let me know what I have not seen or let me know what y'all want me to see. And uh, we're gonna get right to it, y'all. So, hey, man, thank y'all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. See y'all in the next one. Peace.